There we go, got it out just enough. I'm gonna do a really loud clap <laughs> so I can light up the audio. It wasn't even that loud. Whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> 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 And, uh, and uh, brain fart. That's it, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's review. All right. What's going on, Trifaction? Welcome back to the channel. This review is brought to you by TrifectaAirsoft.com. Head on over there if you want to support the channel. We have a link to our merch store as well as our Patreon. If you do decide to support us on Patreon, we really appreciate it. You get access to our private Discord with all the uh, Patreon members in there as well as exclusive giveaways that we do every once in a while. And another really good way to support the channel is to just simply like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and uh, leave us a comment. We really appreciate it. And let's jump into the review of the Jag Arms GMX-1B. This is a high cap of pistol. We got this from Airsoft GI, actually in one of their mystery boxes. Uh, we got it in the Roast My Mystery Box number two, I believe. Now, I've never seen a uh, Jag Arms High Kappa. I honestly didn't even know they made pistols. I thought they were just the, you know, the shotgun people or whatever. People that make the shotguns. Uh, but this thing is really unique looking. First of all, it's all metal. So, full metal lower frame and slide. As well as this outer barrel is metal too. You can see the gun metal gray. I think that's what it is. What it, is. it looks grayish to me. Uh, you know, it's got that spiral flute in there. And the slide's cut out. So it's a really unique design. And your grip here, kind of hexagon, circular texturing here, is uh, plastic, the wraparound on it. You do have in the rear, underneath the beaver tail, you have the uh, cross cut on the uh, rear of the grip there. And then you have all your standard uh, high kappa slash 1911 controls on here. So you have your beaver tail safety, your skeletonized hammer, as well as the ambidextrous safeties on both sides, the thumb safeties and your iron sights, tactical iron sights, with the green fiber optic in the front there, so it makes really easy to line up your front sights, which is nice. And of course, the skeletonized trigger, which is metal as well. This does have an adjustable hop-up, as all pistols should, I believe. And uh, the way you get to that, it's a normal high kappa slash 1911 breakdown on this. So let's take our mag out first. And then we're going to pull our slide back to the crescent cut out there on the side I'm going to pull that back to the rear of the slide stop there and then we're going to push through from this side this pin there we go got it out just enough you're not supposed to drop that <laughs> so we got that out we're just going to slide our slide right off there and our hop up is the standard wheel adjustment in there. And it does tell you which way to uh, turn the wheel for hop up, which is nice because some of them don't tell you and then it's kind of confusing uh, to see which way to turn it. So we're gonna put this back together by just lining up the grooves on the slide here with the frame. Slide it all the way back. Let's get our pin. And we're gonna put that crescent in the same spot. We'll put our pin back in. Line that up. Push it through, and you're good to go. It does come with a 29 round magazine. This is green gas fed, okay, in the bottom there underneath that base plate. And this does have a flared mag well on here. It's pretty big, so it assists in your reloads. And you do have a tactical rail on the front for your flashlights. If you guys like to put flashlights on your pistols, that's there as well. And the whole gun is 100% Tokyo Marie compatible. So if you're someone who likes to upgrade your high kappas, uh, all the Tokyo Marui parts will fit in here. According to Airsoft GI's website, that's what it says on there. So This is supposed to shoot between 300 and 310 FPS. So we're going to get on the chrono with the .2s and we're going to see uh, exactly what it is shooting with that green gas in there. Alright guys, we got our .2s. That's Alright guys, I just loaded some point twos up in here and uh, we're at about 30 feet, so let's see how she shoots.
we tried two different cans of green gas and it's still leaking everywhere when we try to fill it. So I really do think it's the mag doing that. I'm feeling that's what's affecting the performance on this. But we'll see. Brought two different high cap of mags out here other than the one it came with. And we're going to see if we're still getting the same problem here. So that one ran a little bit better. Still had a little bit of issue though. All right, that one ran all of them. A little bit better and this was the original mag that it came with so the jag arms high kappa really not a bad gun uh, i really like the way it looks uh, the build is nice but as you saw we did have a few malfunctions with the uh, slide not cycling all the way back and grabbing that next bb uh, we did try a couple of different mags uh, it got a little bit better but it still did it uh, probably once or twice throughout the entire magazine uh, but the fps was on point uh, it was about 324 moving down to 315 with those 10 shots but it's definitely well within the range of what a pistol should be uh, these things are only a hundred dollars um, so that's a really good price point so that's all we got for you today uh, to all the patrons thank you for supporting us we really appreciate you go out and get them mm -hmm.